Sheldon. Bright, bright and early, I see. Well, it is half past eight. Yes, well, we, we don't normally start till nine, but do, do sit down. W would you care for a cup of tea? I'm used to early mornings. Oh, do you need any help? No, 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 it's your first day and all that. You'll get settled in. Oh, on the contrary. I want to get stuck in straight away. So, where are we going to first? Game farm or fish farm? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Mrs. Feldman, I wonder if you'd mind just nipping down to the shop. We seem to be out of tea bags. Uh, oh, and, and perhaps some biscuits. Mm, hang on, Dad, I haven't finished. We do have a housekeeper to do that, you know. It's untidy. Frank, love, have you thought about taking a holiday? A holiday? That's about the last thing I need. I'm bored already. Two weeks on a beach would finish me off. Oh, well, you'll have to do something. Like what? I don't know. How about helping the Fellmans get their farm back on its feet? Now, don't you start. Besides, I want to do something big, not chuck good money after bad. And that's what would have happened if I'd have bailed out the Fellmans. Being a bit hard, aren't you? Uh, that's the trouble. I'm getting soft. Past it. I've not only had Alan Turner getting clever with me, I've also had a stupid flipping girl like Elsa Feldman sticking in a two penny with and they wouldn't have done that once upon a time. Oh, so moping around the house feeling sorry for yourself and doing the housekeeper out of a job's gonna help, is it? You're right. Now then, Mr. Wilkes, good flight. Uh, fine. If you don't mind my saying so, you don't look too good. Nice cuppa, that's what you need. Oh, been a terrible few days, Amos. Lawyer's offices, police station, funeral arrangements. How's Marion? Well, she's back home. For how long, I don't know. Back home? Why, where's she been? She spent the night before last at the police station. They think she murdered Paolo. That's not in those pictures, Jack. I'll get it. Hello? Hello? Nobody there. Has that happened to you at all? No. Well, it's the second time whoever it was has hung up on me. Were well, you sure there was someone there? Well, I couldn't actually hear anybody. Well, I don't know, love. Well, I've got 200 pregnant ewes at home farm waiting for their 11s. Let's not keep them waiting. Uh, Frank Tate and Son, it's a haulage company. Yes, I know. Did you want something? Yeah, I've got the video set up. I want you to come and look. Oh, I can see that later. When I come home from work. Hello, oh, well, What are you doing here? Working. Mr. Turner's given me Elsa's old job. Oh, he never said out. And it would welcome. Morning, Mr. Turner. Is it your tea break? More or less. What's all you? I don't know. He doesn't have a drink problem, does he? <laughs> Only drink problem he's got his short arms and long pockets when it's his turn to get around in. Why? Well, he's been staring out the window at the wool pack half the morning, ever since he had a phone call from a Gary Littman. Now then, what's going on in here? Not keeping Mrs. Feldman from her work, are you, Seth? Oh, no, Mr. Turner. We were just talking about straw. Oh, yes. Uh, what was it you said you needed it for again, uh, Seth? To put a feed trail down for me birds. It keeps ruddy pigeons away from feed and pheasants use it as a dry bath. Oh, well, we won't be needing all ours now we're selling up at Blackthorn. Well, won't that be going in Eric's disposal sale with all the rest of the stuff? Yes, but why should I pay him a percentage? He won't give me cash like you will. Cash? I'll give you a good discount. We're going to fit in very well here, aren't you? <laughs> she will work. <laughs> oh, 
morning. Oh, it's all right for some. Exercising the horses. Yeah, how is she? Oh, she's sound now. Besides, this is work. Yeah, like I said, it's all right for some. Well, if you fancy a change, why not come and have a look at my new toy? New toy? Yeah, video camera. I've got it rigged up in the stables. Says I can keep an eye on Copper when she's about to fall. Do you know, I've always fancied one of those when lambing time comes round. Well, come and have a look. Well, I'll just uh, finish off here, get a bit cleaned up, and uh, I'll pop on over. OK. I'll see you soon. Right. Good morning, Rachel. Oh, Mr Tate, good morning. Is Christopher in? Uh, no, he's taking Cathy to Scarborough to stay with her mum. All oh, right. I'll be in his office then. Hello? Hello? Who is this, please? Well, whoever you are, it's about time you said something. Well, the choice was not sleeping with Frank for a few nights, or hiring this camera. It's wired up to the bedroom, so as I can check whether she's going into labour at the push of a button. Yeah, very impressive. You leave it on all the time? Oh, yeah. Beats the hell out of sleeping in a stable on a January night. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to ask Alan Turner to do his share of sitting up waiting for the foal to be born? <laughs> Seeing as how champion is the proud father. I don't think I need reminding of how Copper became pregnant, thanks very much. If it's a three-legged donkey that comes out, I'll still sue him for letting his stallion escape. Yeah, and if it's a good-looking foal, you'll give Alan a share of the profits. <laughs> This should have been on the road an hour ago. Now, come on, let's be having it. Hey, Dad. What's going on? Not enough. That load of Helensburg should have been on the road a while ago if it's going to get there by close of play today. Well, Frank's always been a man of action, and there's plenty to do at the yard. I thought Chris ran things. It's a family business. It's Frank's business. He and Chris get on well. More like brothers sometimes. <laughs> Me and Jack get on well. And we are brothers. Doesn't mean to say we can work together. But you do. Well, he goes his way, I go mine. In fact, he's up and gone two or three times now, left me to sort out the mess. Then when he comes back, he expects to take over. Does he just get restless or something? Or something. He was after Henry Wilkes' daughter, Marion. But he's settled down with Sarah now, surely? I suppose so. Although he did leave Sarah once to go after Marion. Can't have been too nice for her. Oh, I think he's got her out of his system by now. Although with Jack, you hardly know. He had a bottle of tablets in his hand when Marion found him. Now the police are saying that she put them there. <laughs> Why ever should they think such a thing, Marion, and not do so much like that? Hello, Henry. Morning, Amos. Good morning. Well, now, you stop worrying, Mr. Wilkes. I'm sure as Marion will be all right. Marion? Has something else happened, Henry? No, nothing that need concern you. Police think as Marion's a murderer. I'm trying to tell Mr. Wilkes it's ridiculous. You're kidding. Uh, they know that the marriage wasn't exactly happy. Well, that applies to millions of marriages. Pretty flimsy motive. She does stand to inherit rather a lot. And they know that she had an affair. Yeah, well, that's over and done with. Not you, Jack. She was seeing a friend of Paolo's, and he's threatened to divorce her and cut her off without a penny and access to Nicola. That motive enough for you? It is for them. Uh, yes, this is Mr. Tate. Uh, of course, Mr. Hamilton. I was wondering if I could come over and see you later on today about this new contract you're negotiating with us. Uh, no, 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 no problems. Just wanted to get one or two things straight. Fine. Three o'clock. Right. What's going on? Nothing. I just wanted to get at Hamilton about that new contract. See if I can screw the price up a bit. I've been negotiating weeks on that. Well, no harm trying to get a bit more. Don't you mess it up. Hey, hey. It's still my company, you know. You went off to play at Country Squires, I remember. All yours, son. You don't object to me showing an interest, surely? That's all it is. The more I do, the more time it leaves you free to do other things. 1992 and all that. I'm doing that already. Well, now you'll have more time for it. Look, just what is going on? 
I've decided to come back on a full-time basis. What? Taking over? Yes. Any objections? Mrs. Feldman, I think you've uh, handled the loss of Blackthorn extremely well. I didn't really have much choice. No, nevertheless, I'm impressed. It takes a lot of guts to bounce back as quickly as you've done. And when you came into the Woolpack the other night carrying that shotgun, I, I, I thought for a moment... Well, well, anyway, I, I can't say very much at the moment, but if things work out the way I've planned, you won't be sorry. Oh. Mr. Turner? Yeah. Hello, love. I wondered if you had time to shoot that petty cash frame out for me. Oh, yes. I, I found a small mistake, though, Seth. Well, I think you'd added it up wrong. It's only £34, not 38 Are you sure? Well, do you want to see? Oh, no, no, whatever you sell of. <laughs> You're really settling in magnificently, my dear. <laughs> well, I, I'm, uh, I'm off to the wool pack now. I, I might be gone for quite some time. Oh, and, Seth, don't think you can hang around here all day long. No, 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 Mr Turner. You made it there, I can see that. Oh, do you think so? <laughs> It all seems a bit strange, really. Especially since he started calling me Mrs. Feldman. Ah, well, take a notice of turn. You'll soon get used to his little ways. Oh, it's not <laughs> that. He's very kind, really. It's just being in an office all day, working for someone else. You did your best. Somebody's going to blame you all, Michael. I made a mess of it, Seth. And now it's gone. There's plenty of better fans than Blackthorn going to wall it last year or two. It's bad land up there. Best farmer I know couldn't have made that pay. I could have done with talking to you before now. Do you fancy a drink? Oh, after work, maybe. Well, I don't want to give Mr Turner the wrong impression on my first day. You can't just walk in here like this. Oh, yes, I can. It's Frank Tate and Son, remember? I'm Frank Tate. You're the son. You put me in charge, handed it over to me. Have you got any complaints? Oh, you've done a pretty good job, son. So what's all this about, then? It's my company, my desk. I feel like getting my feet under it again. Well, oh, great. So just because you're bored, you think you can come in here and do what you fancy? Well, it's not on. If I say it's on, it's on. I am the chairman, remember? And I'm the managing director. I won't allow it. You won't allow it? Now, you listen to me, Chris. I put you in here, and if I feel like it, I can put you out. I see. So all the years I put into it count for nothing. Great. You walk out of here, lad. You stay out. Well, that's fine by me. Your office keys. Shut them. waited for you to get back. More on the same wavelength, you know. Sorry? Well, Amos, salt of the earth and all that, but you and I, birds of a feather, businessmen. Oh. I'm your man. Are you? Well, and Amos is too, of course. Uh, look, Alan, I've had a trying few days. I, I would like to understand you without too much effort. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sorry. No, the, the pub, new manager, me, I'm your man. What? I don't know what to say. Well, I, I didn't want it to put you out of your misery. I'm, I'm the obvious choice. I'm the ideal, really. What about your other job? Oh, that actually runs itself. You see, I don't want to go to seed. I, I need a new challenge. So what do you say? Oh, well, I'll, I'll talk to Avos and uh, come back to you later. Now, if you want to stand a chance, <laughs> you'd best get out at back room before he finds you in his private quarters. Yes. Yeah. Well, I can wait, Henry. Uh, yeah. I can wait. Yeah. I thought you were only taking half an hour off to look at my video camera. Oh, I can clean out drains any time. Thanks. And don't worry, I'll buy you a packet of peppermints before we go back. There's no need. Oh, uh, Frank, giving up on this teetotal lark, then? No, he's fine. It's not a problem. Whatever you say. Anyway, he's got more important things to occupy his mind. Like going back to the haulage business? It's where he's happiest. Mm -hmm. I had heard his plans for home farm had fallen through. 
Do I detect a hint of glee? <sighs> Not at all. Mm, just because some grey-haired little men at the council haven't got the nous to see how good his ideas are. I can't say I'm sorry that he's brought down to earth a bit. Look, you must admit, he did come in rather shouting the odds about what he was going to do for the Dales. He'll bounce back. I've never known him not succeed at anything he really puts his mind to. You don't have to convince me what a wonderful human being Frank is. <laughs> sorry. It's just I'm pleased that he's, you know, busy. He's the Frank Tate I married again. Good. You seem to be going through a rocky patch at Christmas. Happens in every marriage. Don't I know it? But things are on the up. I can feel it. Cheers. Cheers. Mr. Turner? Mr. Turner? Yes. No, never. Well, I'm glad you're giving it serious consideration. Well, I can only be one answer, nay. Well, what's the alternative? Gary Lipman and Skipdale Burris? Or any of the other jokers we've interviewed? He's no experience. She's watched us working off the nooks or Seth Armstrong. Well. We gotta do something. I've got to get back to Italy. Uh, and you know what they say, must better the devil you know. Oh, I know, Mr. Wilkes, but Mr. Turner. I don't mind telling you I'm worried sick about Marion. And about the wool pack, you and your retirement. I'm just about at the end of my tether. Uh, Skipdale Breweries? Oh, Gary Lipman, please. Gary. Uh, it's Alan Turner. Uh, I thought you might like to know that I have offered my services as manager of the Woolpack. No. No, I hadn't. Really? Oh, well, that puts a completely different complexion on things, doesn't it? Hello? Hello? Oh, for heaven's sake. No one there again. There is someone there. I can hear them breathing. They just won't say anything. Is it Marion? Well, I don't know, Sarah. Could be, I suppose. Well, next time you answer it. Tell her she's driving me round the bend. Hi. You're home early. Busy day at the office. Good saying that. Is Frank back yet? So you do know all about it, do you? Kissing bye bye as he set off to the office. Did you make him a sandwich lunch? Look, as soon as I've got something sorted out with Amos, I'll come over. Yes, yes. All right, all right. Yeah, bye, Marion. No, keep your spirits up. Okay. How are things, Mr. Wilkes? Not too good. Police are still suspicious. They keep taking Marion in for questioning. Didn't sound so good on the phone. I'd like to get out there again. Who oh, are do you? Because we've got the wolf pack to sort out. Got to come to some decision sooner or later. Can't keep it hanging on. If I went to Italy, heaven knows how long it would take. Could go on forever. See you later, Jack. Well, hang on, Sarah. What about tea? Oh, I've had mine. I'm off to the wool pack. <sighs> Come on, love. Sit down. Let's talk. There's nothing to talk about. Yes, there is. Marion. Ah. Marion. It's all over and done with, you know. So you say. But I can't help being concerned about her. She's still a friend, and a friend who's in trouble with nobody really to help her. Well, what about Henry? Or the new boyfriend? Look, Henry's an old man. He's too old to start dealing with Italian bureaucracy and Italian police. As for her boyfriend, who knows? So you think you should go out there and help her? Well, I have thought about it, yes. I wouldn't be honest with you if I said I hadn't. I see. Well, that's all there is to it, Sarah. I am concerned for her, and I have thought about going out there. But like Henry said the other day, I'm the last person she needs. And what about you, Jack? She might not need you, but do you need her? No, love, I don't. It's you I care about, and it's you I love. So stop worrying, okay? 
poor Chris. No Cathy to cook for him. What? Only a joke. I'm not in the mood for jokes. Milk. I'll leave the money. Money? What the devil is the matter with you? He's come back, full time to the yard, taken over. Dad? He can't have. It's just his way of keeping you on your toes. No, no, it's more than that. He's taken over, honestly. Why? She's behind this. Kim? Well, why should she have anything to do with it? Well, he's just trying to impress her, as usual. Keep her sweet, show her that he's still a man. And what's this got to do with the yard? Look, you just don't see it, do you? She forced him to have that vasectomy reversed. Forced him to go back on the bottle. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is it? Look what happened at the hunt. Dad wants to stop drinking, but Kim must insist on having a stupid stirrup cup. And then, just because she makes such a fuss, he has to make it up to her. Lay on champagne for the shoot. He does everything for her, including throwing me out of the yard. So, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I'm not going back there, though. Look, let me have a word with Dad. There's no point. Well, all right with Kim, then, if she's behind all this. I didn't... I meant there is no point talking to anyone because I'm not going back. Oh, don't be daft. It'll all blow over in a few days. Hi. What was all that about earlier? As if you didn't know. I must say your rather unusual application for manager's post came as something of a surprise. Every other candidate has approached both me and my partner. Ah, but no other candidate has a personal relationship with you and Henry. No other candidate also had another job. It is a full-time occupation, you know. You've got your game from. Just concern us. That's no problem, gentlemen, I assure you. It may not be to you, Alan, but Amos and I both feel that what the pub needs is someone who can give all their time and energy to it. However, since we can't find such a person, I propose we offer you three months' trial as our manager. What? Three months should see you through. I mean, you might see things more clearly then, Mr. Wilkes. Yes, I must. I might. Thank you. I'm not interested, I'm afraid. What? Now, let me explain, Amos. I, I don't want to manage the wool bag. I want to buy it. Buy my pub? I don't think any of us could cope with me working for you, do you? Oh, I'm sorry, Alan. It's just not on. You know how Amos loves this pub? We, we couldn't sell it. Bricks and mortar. There are far more important things than that, Mr Wilkes. Families for one, friends for another. Old friends. If that's the only way, then that's the way it has to be. Congratulations, Mr Turner. Providing we can agree a price, you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> 